end. Hey, but I forgot to mention I'm doing the top 10 stupid plots for cartoons. Rules. Just because it has a stupid plot doesn't mean it's a bad show. Another rule, I'm, I'm leaving off shows shows like Steven Universe and Gravity Falls because of stuff. There are a few hidden gems I might mention, so so keep in mind. Hey, but if you do like these plots, it's it's okay. It's just my opinion. And I'm glad that you're able to like something that I don't. And yes, I sound like I'm rubbing off you, YouTube, but let's do this! Number 10. Number 10 has to go to Valent. It's about a it's about a bird who's trying to learn how to fly in the Air Force. That's really dumb, actually. But but this was surprisingly made by Disney. But they took out their resume once it was released. Well, uh, well, doesn't that suck for you, huh? Number nine. Number nine has to go to Space Ghost Coast to Coast. I love Space Ghost. This and Rick and Morty are some of my favorite adult swim cartoons. And yes, it was originally a cartoon network show. But however, the concept about a talk show with 60s superheroes is kind of dumb. But 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 they know it's dumb, and which is why it, it has its great qualities. To make fun on on the stereotypes about superhero cliches, cartoon cliches, and talk show cliches. This is one of those shows that I keep on coming back to and with good reason. Number 8. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Just the title alone, it sounds so bizarre. But the show itself is good. Well, well not every show. Fast Forward was kind of off. And the original show, well not bad, it just doesn't interest me as as much as 2003 in, in 2012. This is one of those shows that gets better and better for every rendition. Number 7. Bob the Builder. Okay, Bob the Builder doesn't sound like a stupid concept on paper. It's just a guy who, who's, who's, who's using his normal everyday tools to help out. Oh wait, that's Handy Manny. His, his normal everyday machinery to help out. But these machinery can talk with an evil scarecrow and an, an evil cat. I know, sounds sound so bizarre, I'm not making this up. I really am not. Check, check the description, I'm not kidding. But honestly, this show has this innocence which makes me enjoy it a lot. Which is which is why it's pretty lower than the other ones. Number 6, and this is where things start falling to the deep end. Dorbies. Dorbies. Oh, jeez. I have never seen a show with so awful animation. So awful writing. In my life, this this is this is a special kind of bad. But to be fair, the the reason is not because it's weird. Well, that's one of the reasons. It's because I cannot understand what's going on. I will tell you the plot description, but my brain would melt if I even try. If you want a full review on Dorby's with clips, I think you should watch some other channels with them. If if not. Enjoy this short review. Number five. Oh, and number five was meant to be Dorby's. Number six was meant to be Stone Protectors. So yeah, you, you thought Trolls was the first, the first one to make the Trolls dolls animated. You haven't been to the nineties and early two thousands, haven't y'all? Unless you guys were born in the early nineties and two thousands. Well then, congrats. But this show was just panderingly stupid. It is about a bunch of trolls in a band saving the world. It sounds like it sounds like it's gonna be the stupidest thing ever. And you know what? It is. But to be fair, I seen worse nineties cartoons. Don't believe me? Mega Babies. Yes, that was real. Stomp Protectors is stupid, but not stupid enough. Number four. The Super Mario Brothers Super Show! Just the idea of giving Mario an animated series just seems bizarre, but this one takes it to the next level by not only parodying stuff, but mostly pasta related. Yes, that's how stereotypical these writers can be. What is wrong with the humanity? Honestly, well, for a show, it's okay. It's not my favorite, but if it's a fine piece of entertainment for for intentional laughter. But the plots are ridiculous, and trust me, I, I'm not even going to get to the live-action segments. Let's just say Captain Lou Albano did a great job as Mario, by the way. Number three. Can I count anime for this one? You know what? I'm counting anime for this one. Sergeant Frog. Yes, guys. Sergeant Frog. It's about frogs trying to save the world. 
Then again, everything was trying to save the world back then, so I'm not complaining. I haven't seen the actual anime, but the, but the plot is just so bizarre. But then again, there are some bizarre plots like Steven Universe that, that really wasn't bad. So maybe I'll give Sergeant Frog a look. The second stupidest plot in cartoons is Sonic Underground. Wow! Where to start with this majesty of stupid? So, Sonic has, so Sonic has relatives. Round of applause. Round of applause. Their mother is lost, and the only way to fight evil is by music. I wish I was joking. It's one of the bad Sonic cartoons, but not as bad as Sonic X. But anyway, if you want to see it, eh, there's some videos on YouTube about it. But if you don't, you're with me. I didn't even to say you you're with me. Uh, I just think a bunch of words slipped out. And, and now, the number one stupidest cartoon plot is... Breadwinners. That's really all I need to say, Breadwinners. Why? 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 So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this list. And I, I hope you guys figure out some more stupid plots. Because trust me, that was a really hard list to pick out. I'm Sai Guy, and I'm out. Peace!